All right, so in this video, we are going to be doing a quick preview slash showcase for the upcoming LR Nappa and Vegeta for my fellow global players out there. And you can kind of think of this as a companion or part two to the pass or pull video that I put out earlier today. And if you're one of those people that are having a hard time deciding whether or not you want to spend your hard earned dragon stones on this banner once it drops, then hopefully the combination of these two parts, these two videos, will help you reach that final decision. All right, so without further ado, let's jump right into the gameplay and see what this unit is all about. Now we're kicking things off here with a very nice double support rotation. And we're starting with 167,000, almost 168,000 defense, which is very respectable, right? Very, very solid. And I think we can get the 12, or sorry, 24, full 24 key super here. So that combined with the double supports will pretty much get us close to the Nappa's max damage potential. Now I will say that once we exchange into Vegeta, the damage will be quite a bit more impressive. But Nappa can do some decent things too. All right, so 3.65 million attack, not bad. Not bad. I'm not gonna freak out over that because we've just seen way crazier things from units recently. I think these days our expectations for what a like summonable unit or a summonable LR specifically should do is a, a little bit skewed, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put the Turles in the third slot here because I do wanna link him eventually with the Nappa and Vegeta because Turles is actually one of their best linking partners. But like I said, man, I just feel like we've been spoiled recently with all these like crazy damage numbers, right? Like look at LR Beerus, or sorry, not even LR Beerus, the Fizz Beerus. Look at Fizz Beerus. This dude with no dupes can get up to 8 million attack, right? So, you know, Nappa there with the 3.65 is like, is good. I'm not going to say that I'm not Im impressed. I just think... It's nothing crazy for today's standards. But as I said, Vegeta is really where it's at, right? With this unit. Nappa has the ability to attack all with the 12 key, which makes him a very, very good uh, world tournament unit. But aside from that, you know, you're not going to be getting crazy damage from him. Defensively, he's good, but nothing crazy either. And um, my overall feeling about this unit is that it is a extremely good unit but not broken not like super top tier i'm still deciding honestly where i would rank this unit like as a whole like nappa plus vegeta where i would rank it among all these summonable lrs um i still need to think about that but i wouldn't put them in like the top five or anything like that like they're definitely not one of the best units in the game or anything like that and even as far as like the being good at world tournament part I've said this I've said this before we already have a lot of good world tournament units in this game right we already have STR Broly we still have Fizz Broly we now have LR Krillin on both sides as well so as much as this is probably one of if not the best world tournament units in the game now if you have a couple of those other units, it's really not necessary to summon for them specifically for, you know, the world tournament utility. You know what I mean? Okay, so why don't we pop this active skill here just to have a little fun. So what we're about to see here is essentially Nappa going Ultra Instinct and dodging all the attacks. Uh, one negative for this active skill is that it actually decreases your attack by 50%. So as far as like damage output, it's going to be a little bit less impressive. But it gets balanced out with their passive where they get an additional 78% attack within the same turn after dodging an attack. So as you can see, dodge both attacks there. I mean, if it, if it was like 10 attacks, we still would have dodged all of them because it's a guaranteed dodge. We do lose some attack. Um, so you, might, you lose 50%. For the active skill, you get an additional 78% attack on the passive when dodging an attack, but with the way it's calculated separately, you're still losing about 11% of 
damage output potential on the turn you pop that active skill. So yeah, it, it, it kind of balances out. And this active skill is definitely defensive, right? It's not like what we've seen in the past with a lot of units where it's more offensive focused, where you do a lot of damage with either like a super attack style attack or um, you have like a huge attack boost like the tech Broly. So it's not quite there. It's not quite that. But I actually don't mind it, if I'm being honest. I like the fact that they're trying different things with different active skills or popping the Ghost Usher there just to ensure that we don't die. But I don't want to heal up, obviously, because I want to see that Nappa exchange or the Vegeta exchange, which should happen next turn. It should happen next turn. All right. So, yeah, I like the fact they're trying different things. You know, this one is definitely defensive on the turn you pop the active skill. We're not taking any damage, at least for Nappa, and um, yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, it's fun to see Nappa go Ultra Instinct, actually beyond Ultra Instinct, if you think about it, because LR UI Goku, his highest dodge chance is 70%. Nappa gets 100%. So UI Goku actually has a few things to learn from Nappa. All right, here's the exchange, guys. One of the most gruesome death scenes you will ever see in Dokkan, no question. No question, because the way you just see Nappa's like limbs and his neck like snap all over the place and like contort, it's it's pretty funny actually, but also quite disturbing, I'm not gonna lie. Like that's definitely one of the most gruesome scenes. If you really think about what's going on, one of the most gruesome scenes that Dokkan has to offer. But we got the exchange here, I love it. Um, we healed up for 50% HP, as you saw, we were at like 180k, now we're right back up to 417k. And can we get a full 24 key super is the question. I don't think the board is going to allow that. Uh, hmm. So instead, I'm going to put him here, let's launch that. Okay, you know what, close to 24 key, I'm, actually we're going to get 3 more keys, so it's going to be 23 key, I believe once we actually launch the attack, which is kind of annoying because at 24 key, he gets attacks effective against all, but it's okay, we're close. Yeah, there we go, 23k or 23 key, 3.7 million attack and super clean animation. By the way, I love that Gallic gun animation right there. We got the additional 2.3 mil for the 12 key and we're raising defense on both. So we shouldn't take too much damage here. Okay, <laughs> that was an understatement. 35 damage on the on the super attack right there. Okay, I see you, Vegeta. So what happens is he greatly raises attack and defense on the 18 key, and then also raises attack and defense on the 12 key. So we, we would have had a lot of defense there, which is why we took that super for 35. So as far as defensively, um, you know, Vegeta and Nappa both definitely have the ability to tank attacks. But you definitely want to at least launch an attack first to get the most out of their defensive, their tanking ability, right? Uh, are we going to be okay here? I don't know, actually. I don't know if we're going to be okay. Because Kid Buu taking a super. Let's pop a Icarus just to be extra safe. I do want to get a few more rotations out of Vegeta first before we get out of here. So, yeah, don't mind the Icarus. All right, it's for the showcase for the showcase don't judge me <laughs> okay so yeah um you know what B before we move on to the next rotation why don't i just read vegeta's passive for you guys just so everybody's on the same page recovers 50 percent hp when the exchange first happens and then key plus three in attack and defense plus 100 percent plus an additional key plus three in attack and defense plus 18 percent when, when facing only one enemy which we of course are Plus an additional key plus 3 in attack and defense plus 18% when attacking a super class enemy, which of course we are with the Goku. And then attacks effective against all types when key is 24. So we obviously want to get the 24 key super as much as possible. And with this guy, it's not as hard as it could be, right? Because he gets so much key already by himself. He gets up to key plus 9 on the passive already. So you just need to like give him a little bit more especially with supports, you know, we're good to go, right? We just give him a little bit more key, and he's there. 24 key right there, so even though we have the type disadvantage here, because we get attacks effective against all, we should still hit 
pretty hard. We still we should still do quite a bit of damage to Goku here. Alright, so 4.2 mil for that full 24k super. Attacks effective against all. Let's get a crit. Nice crit, 2.8 mil. And yeah, doing some really good tanking here. This super still it's gonna hurt us a bit, but not too much. 31k. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the Icarus. Okay, so <laughs> that explains why we only took 20 or 32k or whatever, but uh, still, even without the Icarus, we would have seen some pretty impressive tanking for an AGL unit with types of advantage against Godku, because you guys know how hard this Godku hits, obviously. So, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have popped the Icarus. You know what? If I didn't pop the Icarus, we would have died that turn, so I don't regret my decision. I think it was a good call. We're going to pop a Ghost Dasher here just so we can get to the next turn, and I think after this, we are we're done, because there's not really much else you can see. Because next turn we're gonna be getting Kid Boo and the the Turtles support, and as far as this team I built here, that's pretty much gonna be Vegeta's max damage output. And you already saw it defensively, he can he can hold his own. He's not the best tank we've seen, but he can definitely hold his own. So as I said, man, overall I think this is a very good unit. I, I do think that it's. A unit that like is worth going for, especially if you love Vegeta and Nappa, especially if you love them together in the Saiyan Saga, but it's just the timing is bad, right? People ask me, should I summon for this unit? And oh my god, dude, this man chooses the worst time possible to eat his damn fruit and transform. Why? Why? Turles, why you do this to me? <sighs> that is so frustrating, man. Yeah, you, you have no idea. Like that would have been just our final attack, and we would have been good to go. I mean, I think I'm still gonna end the showcase here, cause like, I'm not gonna wait until Turles like stops eating fruit, you know. But that's just annoying, man. I hate that. I hate that. Yo, I've said this so many times in the past. I wish Turles was just a support, all right? He had no transformation mechanic at all in his passive. I think he would have been a much better unit that way. But look, I, I didn't design the game. I, I can't choose, obviously, but it just sucks. I think it's stupid. Okay, so we're getting a Dokkan attack, 24 key super. And I didn't mess up this time. Sometimes I do mess up the Dokkan attack, but we got all the nodes there, so... Yeah, okay. Okay, Vegeta. Five million. <laughs> That's a good way to end it. That would have been higher. Just to be clear, it would have been higher if Turles wasn't such a douche. But it's okay. You know what? It worked out. Mostly. So that is the showcase, guys. I'm a. You know what? As I'm talking, I'm gonna just like finish out this rotation. So we're not just like looking at nothing. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to see for the LR, Nappa, and Vegeta. Um, very good units, of course. Is it worth going for right now, though? That's what we have to take into consideration, the timing of all this. Because we got the five-year anniversary literally, literally right around the corner. We're two weeks away, guys. We are two weeks away. Do you want to really spend stones when we're this close to LR, Vegito and LR, Gogeta? That's a decision. You're gonna have to make for yourself. We're probably gonna die here, but uh, I've given you all the information you guys need. The gameplay, the the details, the animations, everything. You guys have seen it all. So the ultimate decision is up to you. If you were to ask me, I would say you should skip. You should skip. Just given the timing, uh, am I gonna skip? Probably not because I have. I have, I have issues, all right? I can't resist some, you guys know that, like anybody that's been following my channel for any period of time knows that I often summon on banners. I tell people to not summon on, but that's just a me problem. And uh, you shouldn't necessarily do what I do, but more so listen to what I'm saying. And I'm saying you should probably skip, but it's your call at the end of the day. And that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, as well as maybe the pass or pull video, if you watch that as well. And 
As always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, I don't know what's going on with my voice, man. It sounds kind of weird. <clears throat> I think we're good. We're good. Okay. Uh, where was I? If you like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.